Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the best 360 cameras in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Ricoh Theta Z1 – Best High-End Camera The Ricoh Theta Z1 360-degree camera costs twice as much as the competition, but it could be worth the money in some situations. The Ricoh Theta Z1 looks essentially like a larger version of the company's older 360 camera, as well as most other 360 cameras, such as our favourite, the Insta360 ONE X. Ricoh's new camera is a large rectangle whose top edge is slightly rounded, and its two lenses sit on opposite sides of the top end. The Theta Z1 uses two 1-inch backside illuminated CMOS sensors, so you can take much larger images and at better quality than with other 360 cameras. Still images can be as large as 23 megapixels, 6720 by 3360 pixels, and videos are recorded at 4K, 3840 by 1920 at 30 fps. Little has changed in the year since the Z1's release. Ricoh apparently released an update adding stabilization to the video, however, I don't see much of a difference. If you're looking for a 360 camera that's good for video, then you should check out the Insta360 ONE R. If you need a 360 camera to take indoor images and video where lighting is less than ideal, the Z1's larger sensors definitely help. And although there aren't all that many plugins, I like that third party developers can create plugins for the camera. Number 4. Insta360 ONE R Twin Edition – Best for Most People Despite having the ability to see everything around them, 360-degree cameras have a limited number of uses. The Insta360 ONE R, however, isn't your typical 360 camera. In fact, it doesn't have to be a 360 camera at all. Its modular platform allows you to swap out the 360 lens for a traditional wide-angle action camera lens. There's even a Leica-branded 1-inch sensor mod for capturing higher image quality and better low-light shots. The One R is made of three main components – the swappable camera module, battery base, and touchscreen. Each is a separate piece, but the latter two are more permanent as they are used with either camera module. The Twin Edition includes a 5.7K 360 mod and a 4K wide-angle mod. The 1-inch Edition includes the mod and houses a larger 1-inch sensor for better image quality. The Insta360 ONE R also builds in a long list of features and a well-designed mobile app for accessing them. A small door at the side houses a USB-C connection and micro SD card slot. The Insta360 ONE R is waterproof down to about 16 feet without an extra housing placed around it. The included frame doesn't offer additional water protection. We tested the camera in a snowstorm, including flinging it off a sled into a pile of snow and dunked it in a lake. Moisture didn't get inside the camera itself, but there was some water between the modular components after its dunk in the lake. It definitely is one of the best 360 cameras in the market. Number 3. Ricoh Theta V – Best for Photos The Ricoh Theta, released in 2013, was the first successful consumer 360-degree camera, but the Theta and its successors were geared for still capture in a market where competitors focused on video. Ricoh's newest model, the Theta V, places an emphasis on video capture, upping the resolution from 1080p to 4K and supporting a high-quality external microphone. But despite playing some catch-up in the video realm, the camera faces some stiff competition, both from less expensive options that match its video quality, like Samsung Gear 360, and pricier cameras with more pixels like the GoPro Fusion. Dual lenses capture the entire world around the V, stitching images and video together. It doesn't have a larger image sensor than its predecessor, it's still a pair of 12 megapixel 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensors, but it is a new design. The sensors, driven by processing technology developed for Pentax SLRs and powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor, support image capture at up to ISO 6400, a two-stop advantage over the Theta S. Photos are less impressive, but still beat out pretty much every other camera bar one or two. The app isn't a great experience, but once you've set up the camera, you can forget about it. The design of the camera is the best of any 360 camera, and using it in the hands feels natural. Number 2. Insta360 ONE X2 – Best Runner-Up 
Insta360 has announced the One X2, a new waterproof 360-degree camera that features stabilized 5.7K recording, a round touchscreen display, and built-in editing tools. The overall shape of the One X2 is similar to the Insta360 One X, but instead of a black and white OLED display, the One X2 features a full-colored display that can be used to both composure shots and navigate through the camera's settings. The One X2 features four shooting modes, 360, Steadicam, InstaPano, and Multiview. In 360 mode, the camera will capture and stitch together a 5.7K 360-degree video. Steadicam makes it possible to compose your shot from the whole 360-degree view and capture digitally stabilized video that's ready to share off the bat. InstaPano is a new mode that captures full panoramas of a scene with a single tap. Lastly, Multiview allows you to capture two angles at once, enabling you to capture both the scene in front of you as well as yourself in two separate videos. Provided you use a new powerful phone, travel around with your pockets stuffed with portable batteries, and spend a lot of time learning how to use it to the limit, the One X2 will provide you with many hours of entertainment and many more hours of editing. Number 1. GoPro Max – Best Overall Moving on, we have another excellent camera, this time coming from GoPro, and the Max, which is essentially a 360-degree action camera that'll deliver superb footage. This camera is equipped with tons of exceptional videos with 5.6K resolution at 360 degrees, has great reframing, on-camera stitching, amazing stabilization features, and will fit on various mounts that you may already have in your arsenal. Compared to other devices in the company's lineup like the Hero series, this camera has adopted a new body shape and design. For example, this camera has a super vivid 1.7-inch touchscreen display that's great for navigating the menus and previewing your content on the go. This bad boy is also super durable with its amazing rectangular shape that's waterproof as it can be submerged down to 5 meters. My favorite feature about this action camera is that you can use the same mounts if you have another GoPro camera such as the GoPro Hero 7. 360-degree videos will be shot in either 24 or 30 frames per second, however in the normal 2D mode you can go up to 60 frames per second to utilize slow motion features. Taking 360 photos is also excellent with this device as it takes a stitched image with 16.6 megapixel resolution and 5.5 megapixels on the 2D model. In the 360 degree department, there is no other device that can perform better than the GoPro Max. Buying Guide What can a 360 camera do? A 360 camera, also known as an omnidirectional camera, has a 360 degree field of view so that it captures just about everything around the sphere. 360 cameras are needed when large visual fields need to be covered, such as shooting panoramas. Image and Video Resolution 360 media requires very high resolution to match the HD quality of normal videos. 1080p is the standard video resolution required for HD video in normal cameras. In 360 cameras, at least 4K video resolution is required to appear HD in quality. A good 360 camera should be able to produce 4K video resolution or higher and images that are at least 15 megapixels. Stitching 360-degree photos and videos are created by stitching two or more images together using multiple lenses. A good 360 camera should either be able to stitch images automatically within the camera software or on an accompanying phone app. You should also look out for the quality of the stitching. You want to minimize any obvious lines where the two images meet. You can check this by watching 360-degree videos taken by each camera and seeing if the line where the two images meet is obvious. Field of view Is this a single lens system or does it use multiple lenses and sensors to create your 360-degree video? The more lenses or sensors, the less distortion you're likely to encounter as you stitch the images together, although the more lenses and sensors you have, the more stitch lines there will be.